If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 152 of my player here on FIFA 15. We're into the new season. I've uh, simulated the friendlies because no one's really too interested in those. As you can see, we've got a 4-1 win against Catania, a 2-2 draw away against uh, Gangon, and then a 1-1 draw at home against Montpellier. Now, if we don't find ourselves getting consistent first-team football in these first three-slash-four fixtures between uh, Cardiff and the uh, second game against Aberdeen in the qualifying rounds for the Europa League, then I will be searching for a loan move in uh, this particular transfer window. But we're going to give our... Considering the amount of first-team football we played the last few weeks of last season, we're going to give um, Arsene Wenger the chance to redeem himself and continue to play me as number one striker. As you can see, I've changed my boots, I've changed my haircut, and I have changed my celebration as well. And another thing to note, as you can see... Down here, look at the third name. We've actually been able to pick up Imeric Laporte. Now, this was actually done on a pre contract. He joined on a free this window, so the deal must have been done in the Pardon me, in the last January window, so that's quite intriguing. Nice to have some more solidity at centre-back, considering in the last episode we highlighted how weak Per Mertesacker looked as uh, an overall player. So we've got a new centre-back partner for Lauren Caselny, but uh, hopefully we can get a decent uh, decent game in today. I'm not going to be going for the long shots and headers solely for, uh, for now, because obviously we're back into competitive games. And uh, in the last game, at the end of last season, we didn't have anything to play for. So I felt OK just kind of ball hogging and going for accomplishments. But now things are important again and we want to make sure that we give a good impression of ourselves so we can get first team football here at Arsenal for this second season here. If not, we will look for a loan move if uh, after today's and Thursday's episodes we don't find ourselves getting first team football. But we've, we've got first team football to start off with. We're starting the first game of the season at home against Cardiff. So hopefully we can, uh, we can do well. Quite happy to let them play in blue. And uh, Cockerland and Walcott on the outside. Walcott's now 87 overall. Uh, Alex Oxlade, Chamberlain and Ramsey in the midfield with Rojas. Uh, no sign of Wilshire at CDM. It, it baffles me that the, the Wenger plays uh, Ramsey and either Wilshire or Oxlade, Chamberlain at uh, centre mid and then doesn't play the other one at CDM. But uh, anyway, and then we've got Santi Cazorla in the side. Want to play Oxlade, Chamberlain at left wing and uh, then put Will Shearer and Ertzel in the middle. Who knows? Anyway, I'm second-guessing Arsene Wenger here, so I probably shouldn't do that. We should probably praise him because he's put me back in the first team. So let's jump in against Cardiff. Hopefully we can have a good game and, uh, fingers crossed, we can get a good result as well. Start this season in the right way. Chamberlain plays me in. I'm kind of on my own here. I see Theo making a run, but he's not in a good position. He is now, and he's brought it under his spell well, although almost finds himself getting tackled. He's into the box hole. He lays me off. We'll try the left-footed shot. Castellon is the goalkeeper. I don't know who that is, but made a good save there to stop us from scoring in that particular instance. I'll call from this from Rojas. I haven't gotten it, but Theo Walcott will get it down the line towards Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. If one or... Oh, actually, that's a decent cross. Can I win this header? No. Wankala wins it in the air. I'll try and win the second header. Wankala wins that one as well. Here's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain again, though. Lays it out to me. Well, we might as well try a shot from the edge of the box, and it comes close, but goes over the top of the bar. Oh, wowzers. Couple of chances in that particular highlight, but unfortunately, none really causing the goalkeeper too many problems. Ramsey into Rojas. Uh, OK, that was meant for me. I didn't think it was, but we'll find Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain into Rojas again. Lays it off to the Ox. Tries the shot. Oh, that was not far away. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain with the best chance of the game so far for us. That was a good left-footed shot. I was thinking he was maybe going to set me up if I ran around the outside the defender, but he took the shot early. Couldn't quite find the target, though. Ekrem down the line towards Craig Noon. Can he swing across in? No, Oxley chamberlain will tackle him, though, and they will get a corner. Chance for Cardiff on the half hour. It's going to be Ekrem to take it. we we'll stand it away to the box. Plenty of men forward, not many men back. But that looks like it's going to be comfortable for Chesney and is. I'll call for it, though. Well, if we check, give me the ball. Thank you. Took his time, and now the defenders are caught up with me. But we have managed to work that out wide to Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. I'll make the run down the line. He's going to squeeze it back to me. I'll try and turn inside the defender, shall we? We'll go down the line. I see many in the box, so we'll cross it looking for a teammate. We might find Jack Wilson. It's dropped to Ramsey, and Ramsey flicks it on to. Was that Alex Oxlade Chamberlain again at the back post? Managed to make a run. Oh no, it was Cockerlan. Oh, regardless, though, there's another really good chance, actually. We should have taken that. I'll call for this from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Uh, we'll give it inside to Ramsey. And I'll make the run. I'll go for through ball. Oh, he could quite squeeze it to me. Nice defending from Cardiff there. 
Nice back heel by Theo into Chamberlain. Back out wide to Walcott again. A call for the cross. It's coming. Can we score a header? Can't even get to the header. Wankala beats me in the air again for the umpteenth time today. But reacting to the deflection there. Castellon, really good save. We'll get a corner here. It did take a deflection, didn't he? Yeah, off the defender. And he's, God, he's just managed to throw a, an arm to it. We'll see if we can get anything from this corner. Though Theo, that is a woeful, woeful set piece. We've stolen it off him. So we'll give it back to Theo. I've ended up on the floor, but we may still get a goal-scoring opportunity. Theo with the cross. It's headed clear. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> that was rather a, a reactory dive, diving tackle there that I probably shouldn't have done. Here's Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. I'll call for a through ball. He can get it through this gap. He's found me. We'll hit it early. Good save by Castellon. Time for another corner then on the hour mark. We'll see if we can get ourselves a headed chance here. I'll come towards the front post and call for it. Not found me too well through the air. Uh, Early on in this game, Theo, but we have managed to... Are you going to take a touch, Laurent? Are you going to take a touch? It's Carl Jenkinson. They're forever there. Final whistle's gone. Unfortunately, it's a nil-nil draw in the first game of the Barclays Premier League season in season number seven. I can't quite believe we're season seven now. We've grown by 16 ratings so far. Of course, we did start at 65. And uh, there are a lot of people make comparisons between my my player and... Uh, Dockland is my player, but I started at 65 and he started at 71. So uh, there is a big difference between how far we've come. We've both probably grown about the same, about 16 ratings. We'll see if we uh, we get... Uh, um, I've hit advance, thank you. We'll see if we get selected for this Europa League qualifying round against Aberdeen. Hopefully we do. If we do, then it may look like we're going to get consistent first-team football here at Arsenal. We'll have to wait and see if we do get picked. If we don't, we have been. I was going to say, if we don't, then I will immediately go for a loan listing. But we have been selected. So again, we'll stick with uh, or keep faith in Arsene Wenger. And uh, hopefully he will keep faith in us. And we can repay that faith with a goal in this game rather than the first one. Chamberlain to Santi Cazorla. I called for that, but had to cancel because I wanted to make sure that I didn't just kick it randomly off the pitch. Oh, I thought that was in. I really thought that was in as it was flying towards that top corner. It was probably a lot further away than it looked in the end, but oh, that wasn't too far away at all. Oh, chance in the opening few moments. I tried to wrap my foot around it the same way that uh, was it Stoke did towards the end of uh, last season. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the back of that. Nice to see Danilo in the starting lineup, though, it has to be said. He's barely featured since we've been here at Arsenal, but it's nice to actually have him in the starting lineup because he's definitely a better right back than Carl Jenkinson or uh, the very much ageing Mathieu Debussy. And uh, he's involved again here, and he's going to find me. I'll try and turn inside the man and thread it through that gap towards Santi, but giving it away to Logan. Ramsey to Rojas. I'll call for it here. Bit uh, isolated, but we'll try and burst past the man. And I've been knocked over. Referees play the advantage, and Theo's had a shot that's well saved by the goalkeeper. He surely had to put that into the back of the net. I would have loved a free kick from the edge of the box there. Santi would surely have buried it from that sort of distance. I'll call for a pass there. It's actually gone to Ramsey, but uh, it's Oxay Chaney making the run in front of him. Here is the Ox, tackled well by the defender, but Ramsey will recover it. Oh, I'm gutted that Theo hasn't been able to score there. I'll call for this with Kieran Gibbs. Oh, it has ended up on my feet. It I kind of caught me out by going to the other man first, but we've had another shot that's well saved by the keeper. This is going to drop to me again on the edge of the box. We'll lay it off. It's going to be Rojas with a shot, and again, a good save by Brown. We're definitely on top here, but it's uh, surely only a matter of time before we score a goal, if not more than one. Free kick for Aberdeen in a really dangerous position, actually. Santis picked up a yellow card for the foul that led to it, and that's a really good header as well. They aren't going to get many chances in this game, Aberdeen, and you have to feel that if they get opportunities like that again, they're going to have to take them because there won't be, like we say, many chances for them to actually get a decent uh, shot on goal. But well, it wasn't the best of balls to me, but we've done well to work around that man. Do I give it to Theo? He just ran offside, so we'll go actually back to uh, Ramsey, he may use me again here I'll call for the ball from Santi, he's going to get it to me, oh but the keeper beats me to it oh and then I've just been clotheslined by the defender Chamberlain inside to Ramsey, I've dropped a bit he's found me, I'll try a cheeky finesse from the edge of the box, we'll try a lace shot from inside the box, Brown again with a brilliant save, first shot my guy tried to take the inside of his left foot for some reason not really too sure, Santi will take this corner though, or not really too sure why should I say Santi taking the corner, it's coming my way I've tried to win the header but Jack's beat me to it Koscielny will weirdly try and get it to Kieran Gibbs with a, a back heel that I don't think he should have tried in that situation but here's Santi into Rojas, he's found me. We'll try and do the defender with a change of direction. That's not really worked. We'll give it to Theo. 
He's got a man outside him. It's, uh, I'm not sure who it is. It's Danilo. Can we win this header? No, Taylor beats me in the air. Not been able to win many headers in the past few games. I'm not really too sure why. Maybe the game knows that I only need a few headers for an accomplishment and it's purposefully making me lose them. Or maybe my positioning is just completely out of whack. I'm not sure. We're almost at half time though with the score still at 0-0. Exactly. Rojas feeds me. I see Ramsey on the inside and we will feed him and he's giving it back to me. I'm going to try the shot that's outside the box. Does that count? I don't know. We'll find out when I have to have a look at the accomplishments a little bit later on. But swing, there's the new celebration. It's a cheeky goal swing. Was I outside the box? Please tell me I was. Oh, I think I may have been on the line, which will count as inside the box. Oh, I'm not. I'm really not sure. I'm really, really not sure. I'll have to check my accomplishments. Let's have a look. I can't quite remember. How many I was on. It will be under shooting. Uh, goals from outside the box. I think that's counted. I think I was four away. I think that's counted as outside the box. We'll take that. You can see I need three more then for outside the box. I need eight more headers. That's how close we are to heading plus two and shot power plus one. And that surely would help us get up to 82 rated. I don't take free kicks. Uh, we haven't been in any penalty shootouts. And uh, you can see I've, only, I've taken 11 penalties. But uh, we haven't really had a penalty since we've been here at Arsenal, have we? If we have, then I definitely haven't taken it, and I can't remember. But uh, we've scored that goal, and I think it counted as an outside. I was pretty sure I was on 16, and it now says 17, although it may have said 17 before. You guys know what my memory is like. The only stat that matters right now, though, is that it's Arsenal 1, Aberdeen 0. Kim gives with the throw. Gets it to new substitute Alexis Sanchez, or new player on the pitch, Alexis Sanchez. I'm in some space here, if Ramsey can find me, which he can, first touch is good, we'll try the finesse, oh, just too much power on it again, I can't seem to get the weight on those finesse shots just right at all, I either float it over the bar like that and it goes a little bit too high or I don't quite put enough power on it to open up the angle and it goes straight at the goalkeeper, I, uh, I have the finesse shot trait on, I'm pretty sure, but uh, unfortunately so far, I haven't really been able to find my range with those finesse shots. Definitely much better at just smashing it with the laces. Joel Campbell coming down the left-hand side. Oh, it's nice work as well to get himself in the box. I think that pass was meant for me and he's kicked it straight at Alexis. He's going to get it to the Chilean again and go for the return ball. Perhaps, perhaps... Alexis, is someone going to cross it? I'll call for the cross. Jack Campbell stands it up. There's the header. Oh, we get a long shot and a header in the same episode. Oh, brilliant. Schwing. There's the goal swing celebration. I really like that sort of celebration. You can do that. You can do that animation. That's a really good header, by the way, in off the post. I'm actually very pleased with that. But you could do that animation in Gears of War when someone is... <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's completely not relevant. But when someone is downed in Gears of War, you can, if you've got your shotgun, you can go and do a goal swing on their face and it knocks their head out or knocks their head off and explodes their head. <laughs> I like that's why the uh, celebration really tickles me because I used to do that all the time back on Gears of War 2, like three or four years ago, maybe even further back than that. But a brace for us in this game against Aberdeen. Surely we're putting ourselves in the uh, first team uh, more often than not this season with performances like this. Although, to be fair, it is against weaker opposition. We weren't really able to do much against Cardiff. But two goals, really pleased with that. And two well-taken goals as well. Robertson into Jack. Is he going to play it down the line? They've got two men inside. Nice little back heel to find Robertson. Find Smith. They may get themselves one back here. A really nice run. A good shot. They have. That's an extremely good finish. The quality of finishing this game, or the quality of finishing for the goals at least, because I've had a couple of shots that weren't that good, and they've had a couple of shots that weren't that good, but that is an extremely good rifle shot into the bottom corner. Nothing Wojciech Szczesny could do about that. They've pulled themselves one back here, and of course it's over two legs, and that class is as an away goal, so they really aren't out of this tie yet. That has brought them right back into it. They will probably lose this tie, but or lose this leg, but that could oh, keep them in it and give them a shout of a chance for the second leg. We'll have to wait and see, but there's really not long left here, and hopefully that will be all the goal scoring for now, unless, of course, we can go up the other end and smash in a hat-trick goal. Final whistle's gone then. It is going to be 2-0, and uh, pleased with that. A really good long shot, a really good header. I think it counted as a long shot. You guys will probably let me know in the comments whether it will have or not. I think it did, but, again, I can't be sure because you know what my memory's like. But we need three more long shots to get an accomplishment and we need seven more headers to get an accomplishment but 8.3 rating in that game really pleased with that and hopefully that's going to put us in contention for first team football more often than not I'll advance as far as the next game just to check that we're in the first team for the uh, for the next 
episode. So uh, I know that you know we aren't going to be looking for a loan deal until soon, until right now. Uh, is the, that Fulham game being moved? Oh no, the Fulham game is ahead before. I thought for some reason the Fulham game was this one, but it's not. It's Aston Villa. Well, we'll advance as far as the Fulham game. We'll see if I'm selected. If I am, then uh, great. If I'm not, I'll look for a loan move. Have we been selected to play against Fulham, Arsene Wenger? As Stephen Colker says he wants to leave QPR. We have been. It looks like we might be staying here at Arsenal for this season and not going out on loan and fighting for our first team place. We'll play the game against Fulham and the game against Aberdeen, hopefully, in the next episode. Then. And uh, and if we are selected for Villa, then it looks like we should be first team uh, shout for the rest of the season. So long as we keep our level of performance up, which today has been OK. Two goals for us. Pleased with the finishes as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, then smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, then of course hit subscribe as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, I will see you next time.